Tiger Stripes and Mantega Terbang. These two Malaysian films have won international praise and recognition. Tiger Stripes was even chosen to represent Malaysia at the Oscars in the Best International Feature Film category. Quite a feat, right? However, back in Malaysia, Tiger Stripes faced heavy censorship while Mantega Terbang was banned following criticism that it contained elements that went against Islamic teachings and beliefs. The issue of censorship doesn't just affect these two films, but the entire Malaysian film industry. The Film Censorship Board, or LPF, holds a firm grip over what can and cannot go on screen in the interest of protecting local values and beliefs. And whenever a movie steps outside these bounds, it's either heavily edited or banned. Does this tug of war between artistic freedom and censorship pose a challenge to Malaysian filmmakers? Mantega Terbang director Kari Anwar thinks so, saying the situation has led to self-censorship. Self-censoring as a filmmaker, as an artist, uh, is never a good thing. It's, it's, it, it makes us think that our self and our mind and our idea is not ready for the audience. So as, as an artist, we want to put forward what we have in mind and we don't want to self-censor ourselves so that what come out of the entire film can be something that is honest. He believes LPF is wrong for rejecting scenes or entire films it deems inappropriate for the younger generation. I don't agree with the older generation of government servants telling us what not to watch and what to watch because then we will not be moving forward as a country because, we, because then we would not be thinking of a new ideas moving forward. Freedom Film Network co-founder Brenda Danker believes the government's strict censorship has restricted freedom of expression in film. Film is the only medium in media that needs this prior censorship. And this, of course, uh, then restricts uh, filmmakers from creating their, their stories and their creative works. So what is the way forward? Danker says Malaysia can learn from Thailand. The Cultural Ministry in Thailand just drafted a new uh, movies and games bill and this bill is uh, the intention of the bill is to create a self-governing council for movies. I, I think this is really good because it allows filmmakers to be responsible, to be accountable and at the same time to be able to uh, tell the stories that they want to tell. But the real cliffhanger lies in the future of these laws. As long as the current censorship rules hold firm, they cast a long shadow over artistic freedom and the growth of the Malaysian film industry. The question remains, will this landscape evolve, allowing creative expression to truly flourish? Natasha Bust, FMT News.